What is going on guys? A lot of you tell me you guys like the vlog style content I've been doing. We're gonna go to the shop today and just see what's going on. First off guys, I have to drop off this car. A lot of you guys may not know, but I sold my BMW. We are building a house. So I am driving my wife's old car and it's starting to have some problems. So we're about to drop it off, get it looked at, stop and see if I hit this mega millions last night. And then we're gonna head to the shop. I got uh, about a half full day. So I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what my day looks like. I got a few projects and different things I need to work on today. So uh, let's head that way, get to the shop and see what the day brings. Thanks. What's up? Tell me I want some. Give me $10, bro. 10 give me a, give me another one of those. The no, purple. No, no, no. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. All right, guys, we are at the shop. Got everything turned on. And you guys will not believe what happened this weekend. So you guys know I had two of these lights up here. Philip calls me and says one of them started smoking and popping and making a bunch of noise. Clearly it was this one, guys. So it is burnt up in the back. So you guys probably won't be able to see, but you can see a little bit of brown. It kind of got burnt up in here. So yeah, I'm down a light bulb. Unfortunately, so only one light on the station. I did order some LED bulbs to replace those with. I don't think those lights are really intended to be ran all day, every day. So we still got this one going strong for now, but I got some LED bulbs to try and then we're gonna try them today when they get here. If that doesn't work, I guess I'm gonna go back to a ring light. So anyway, guys, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to see the rest of the day, but we got the Saber already done and out of the way. Rogue Trimmer, we're about to do an unboxing for, so let's set the camera up and uh, do a little unboxing and record the giveaway. What's going on guys? I'm here today to do a little unboxing on this Rogue Clipper and Trimmer, and then we're gonna do a giveaway. So guys, stay tuned to the end, and I will tell you guys how you have a chance to win this Clipper and Trimmer bundle. All right, guys, we got the giveaway recorded. My man Tim just got here. Boy, looking fresh in the Reds gear. Make sure you guys are subscribed and have your bell notifications turned on if you want to get in on this Rogue giveaway. Guys, I got a couple new goodies I got this weekend at the Texas Barber Expo. So we got the Precision Pack pencils in from 245. I already had the pencils, but I hadn't had this actual pack yet. The three pack, and this is what it looks like. Also got a new razor handle. You guys know, maybe you haven't seen, but I messed up my razor handle and I'm rocking a Frankenstein. So I got this part from the green razor I used to have and the bottom from the black, but we're gonna go back to the all black and not have no janky razor handle no more. If you guys wanna grab those pencils, check out 245.com and I did get my discount code changed, guys. Now it is 10% off the entire website. So you guys use discount code SEANKATERRA on 245.com and you get 10% off anything. Now, I forgot to show you guys too, I got these new guards from Marty Blends. You guys see these, he just dropped these. So these are the orange, obviously. I think you can get them at martyblends.com. If you guys aren't following him, subscribe to him on YouTube. Definitely check him out, man. My dude is doing some work. You guys can see, this is just like wall premiums. I actually got two more in. I blessed a couple of my guys with them. Let's go check them out. So we hooked JT up with the pink ones. You guys see, my man loves pink. No, I don't know about that, but he got some pink stuff. He liked the pink ones, so. I uh, can't remember what these are called. I think they're called bubble gum. I think they're coming out soon as well. But again, guys, they're just the wall premiums in a uh, kind of like a frosted clear colorways. And then my guy Marcus, I hooked up with the aqua blue or the ice blue. I can't remember what they're called, but you guys see them here. Super dope, man. Also guys, uh, give me some feedback. I'm working on getting, I'm gonna get the Utsumi brush, Utsumi flat top comb, trying to get my YS Park that I use potentially the color guards as well. And basically I'm gonna have all that on the website. You guys will be able to get any of the tools. Obviously guys, if you want clippers and Gamma, Babyliss, Fresh Years, any of the tools, the utensils that I use, you can get them from them and I have a discount code. But basically the, uh, I don't really know what to call these things, but accessories, tools, guards, things like that that I use. Think about getting them and putting them on the website. So leave me some feedback and let me know if those are some things that you guys would grab from the website.
All right, y'all going to grab lunch. Just had one this morning. I haven't really told you guys about this, but I cut my schedule back to uh, only two days a week. So I'm working two days a week. Hour appointments, raise my price to 60. So basically the goal is to have two full days. And then if I don't, the idea was that I will be able to make content better and work on my YouTube and stuff like that. So with that being said, guys, it is lunch break. We're gonna run and pick up my lunch. I gotta take booth rent to the bank. And I thought I'd take that opportunity to kind of explain to you guys why I do booth rent and uh, kind of how that works out for us. So for one, guys, booth rent was just simpler for me, right? So all my guys pay the booth rent at the end of the week. I take it, put it in the bank, and the bills come out when they come out. So it was super simple. I honestly, I don't know anything about commission, really, besides the fact that the owner gets a piece of the commission, or that is commission, a piece of you know, each barber's income, but I didn't really know much about commission. Didn't really want to go that route. I didn't really want to have like a computer system, track every sale, every client that comes in, take a piece of my guy's money. To me, it was easier to take booth rent. As the owner, I know exactly what I'm getting every week. I never have anybody that doesn't pay. They pay every week. And so I know that my bills are paid consistently. I know I'm making X amount because I have this many barbers. They pay this much rent. I'm making X amount every week. I know how much I'm making per month and I know that my bills are covered, right? So I could probably be making a little more money if I did commission and things like that and took a little bigger of a piece of basically all my barber's money, but I never felt like I would feel good at the end of the day, driving a nice car, living in a nice house. I didn't want my guys to ever feel like they were paying my bills, but I didn't want to be having all these nice things and luxury things to be taking, you know, 40% of my barber's money. So I chose to do booth rent, guys. It's just super easy as an owner. Like I said, I'm about to take it to the bank. It goes in the bank every week and the bills come out every month and I know that my bills are covered. So that is why I chose to do it that way. And guys, I am going to work on, I've been saying this for a while, but this is going to be a big project. And so a little more planning than normal for these YouTube videos, but guys, I am going to be doing a how to open a barbershop series. We're going to start from like an overview of everything you're going to have to deal with. And we're going to work all the way through finding a location, getting funding from the bank, where to get equipment from, how to do renovations and what colors to paint it and how to do logos and all that kind of stuff. So you guys stay tuned for that to come. I don't know how soon I'm going to be able to get it done, but I am going to start working on it. I'm going to have my wife help me. We're going to write the whole thing out, have a whole list ready so that you guys have what you need to go into opening your own barbershop. So guys, stay tuned for that. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe if that is something that you'll be interested in. I'm gonna go pick this lunch up, hit the bank. We'll head back to the shop and finish the day up. I don't know what else I got, but if I have anything else interesting, we'll put it in the vlog. All right, so I was coming back from lunch and I noticed that there was no key hanging in here, which means they put something in the package box. So we're gonna see, aha. Uh -huh. All right, I don't know what it is. It's a big box. It's a pretty big one, international. All right, I know what it is. Thirty percent off anything with code Pinky Thirty. Forty-five percent off scissors. He's wild, bro. That's some art. All right, so we got the demon. I bet you do. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. So a little package from my boy TPOB, the pissed off barber. I'll do a little unboxing and review sometime soon, guys. I have a ton of content recorded, so it's probably gonna be a little bit, but stay tuned for that. Yo, I want y'all to see this cut that B just did. She has improved like crazy since she started. Woo! Man. That's so good. So good. All right. See you, bro. All right. Squeak. All right, guys. See you, bro. See you, See you. See? Kill this, bro. That's it, guys. End of the day. Heading to the car and going home to eat. If you guys like this video, do me a favor. Smash that thumbs up. You guys already know. Make sure you guys subscribe. You saw I got some new tools in. Got lots of unboxings and stuff left to do. I don't know if you guys can even see me. I can't even see my face on the camera right now, but guys, leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys like this vlog style content and I will keep it up. And as always, guys, I appreciate all of you that watch my channel. I'll catch you guys next time.